Taurus, hi. So, um, this is going to be a reading for July 5th through the uh, 11th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check it out in the description box below if you want. Now, let's see. Taurus. What's going on? All right, the overall energy for the reading, the Ace of Cups. Um, brand new beginning in love, potentially here. In the recent past, you get the Death card, the Nine of Pentacles, the Hangman. I feel like something may have come to an end here for you, but it left you into this place of almost contemplation, almost like a needed, a very much needed place for self. You know, there's a lot of standing back, looking at things, working on yourself, trying to heal, and a lot of self involved in there. Um, like the work you, you like, uh, you needed this time for yourself. Let's just put it that way. Um, <clears throat> in the uh, current situation, you get the devil, the king of swords, the eight of wands. It would be such a good energy without that devil over there because it feels like um, there's a little bit of manipulation in someone's communication. It could be that you may want to talk with somebody about something, but there's a little bit of pushing or wording things in such a way that um, it becomes controlling or manipulating. Uh, now, I don't know if that's you or somebody that's attached to you and, you know, bringing this communication to you. I have no idea. It does feel like it's you, but it could be somebody else. So there's definitely this um, communication aspect that you're trying to, to bring forward in a situation. In the immediate future, you get the Five of Swords, the Six of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles. Mm. It's like feeling successful about something. But again, the Five of Swords is a very manipulative kind of card, kind of energy, you know, very... Maybe it could be it could be that you're celebrating too soon, you know, feeling successful about something or victorious about something, then it could be that maybe you're doing it too soon, you know, without the actual thing actually happening. Um I don't know. I don't know. Let's let's clarify. Let's see what's up in here. Let me see that ace of cups. And the overall energy. <clears throat> Four of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, the Star. Huh. The um, interesting, the resistance is coming down. I feel like there was a little bit of obsession almost surrounding this energy of it needs to be this way. Like we need to have a fresh start, a new beginning in something. And I feel like there was again hanging on to that in a, a little bit of an obsessive way. It's looking like, and it's turning into. I want for that to happen. Now, I'm not going to put my fears on it, where I hold on to it, like, oh, it needs to happen, it needs to happen, it needs to happen. But it feels like it's becoming a real uh, wish for for you. I don't, without expectations, without control. So that that's good. That release of the, the grip there, that's good. Um, let's do the death card in the recent past. Three of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune. All right, so I feel like this was an on and off kind of situation. It could have been a partnership with someone. It could have been a friendship. It was like this ongoing on and off situation that you may have had with somebody that it was hard to let go. And then uh, probably the same on both sides because I see it spinning in that wheel, right? But then I see that eventually it did come to an end. Um... Now, I'm not sure if physically, maybe just emotionally, you know, maybe somebody was done here. 
Uh, let's do the nine of pentacles in the recent past. Page of wands, five of wands, four of wands. Okay. See, this is a very contrasting kind of energy because you're showing up as... I want to be single, I want to be independent, I want to be this, that, and the other, but then there's somebody here that shows up for you and it's creating this whole conflict within you. Because like when this person shows up, it's like, I'm not single, shit. Even if you were officially to this world, you know, you weren't tied up to this person or anything, but you felt that bond that felt like almost like a marriage. You know, so there's that conflict that comes in, like, why the hell probably even getting mad at this person because you know the five of wands is here so i do see a lot of conflict in regards to that it feels like the appearance strictly the appearance of this person threatens your freedom your singlehood even though they didn't that spoke to something inside of you not to what they did uh you know because it created this whole conflict in between why am i not free anymore I don't know. <laughs> it comes from you. Um, let's do the hangman. You know, unless they tied you up to a tree or something, but I, I doubt it. Um, for the hangman, you get the four of cups, the nine of swords, the chariot. A lot of discontent, a lot of unhappiness, you know. Um, <clears throat> so you've had this partnership, this on and off partnership with someone that eventually kind of came to an end on its own. And then this situation pops in for you to bring in a lot of inner conflict. And then you fall into the trap of unhappiness, big as unhappiness. And I feel like it all happened like a, like a tornado, like a twist, like really, really fast. It came into play. Um, you fell into this pit, pit of um, pain for some reason. Let's do the devil in the current situation. Ooh. Hold on. Got it. The justice card, the six of wands, the temperance card. All right, so I feel like you're working on certain aspects. Aspects that are toxic, that are unhealthy for you. And it could be just about anything. It could go from addictions into unhealthy habits and to who knows, who knows, just about anything. So there's there's a whole lot of work on, on these aspects from within you. And I feel like you're finally starting to come to a place of balance within yourself, you know, because you, again, I see you falling into a place of what the hell. Probably blaming everybody, everything else for that when it was all inside of you, you know? And I see you working on those aspects. I'm finally coming to a resolution. Let's do the King of Swords in the current situation. Ouch. Ace of Cups, Ten of Swords, Five of Pentacles. You carry love for a situation that to this world we live in, it seems that that situation is gone. It's dead. It's done. The love is still there. The desire to have love in the situation is there. Um, hmm. As to the Eight of Wands. In the current situation, Knight of Wands, the Fool, the Queen of Wands, a lot of fiery energy here. Um, and very playful, very... It's nice, it's looking nice, it's looking fiery. Not fiery enough where it could cause damage, <laughs> but uh, enough so that it, you can feel the playfulness of it. And it's behind some sort of communication. So it could be that something is being communicated to you or you want to communicate something, but the, the energy on the other side of this communication feels very, very nice. And very, um, again, it comes in with a playful kind of energy, you know? <clears throat> Let's do the Five of Swords in the immediate future. Five of 
the hermit, the three of wands, the hierophant. There you are. You're waiting for something here. I don't know what you're waiting for. But it feels like you placing yourself in this waiting mode is pretty deceptive and self-sabotaging. I feel like deep down, you know what you want. You just, you know, let's wait. Let's, let's just look at the walls and wait. But you want something. Yeah, but you know, let's, let's wait. Oh, the walls are so pretty. Let's... But when you want something, don't you go get it? Yeah, but look, look at look at the ceiling. I mean, it's you know, uh, there's something that speaks out to you here. That's why the Five of Swords shows up <laughs> because of the walls. Um, you know, let's do the Six of Wands. Six of Swords, the Judgment card, the Hangman. Okay, you're, you're spinning in a circle here, a circle of looking at the walls, basically, not doing anything. Um, you're falling into all sorts of energies of clarity around what it is that you want, and then you're falling back into that place of not doing anything about it, you know? Um, so it feels like you're going on this wheel of you're starting in this place of stagnation, not moving, things coming to you. And then when things go away, but you still want to work with those things, you're not moving. You're like, yeah, I'll wait, maybe they'll come back. You know, maybe for flow to happen between these energies here that you're carrying towards something else, you need to participate at least half, you know? for things to happen. It's kind of like that equal give and take exchange, right? Um, things are gonna fall into your lap until they won't anymore. And when they won't, maybe you need to move, you know? Uh, of course, this could be the other person tied up to you. It doesn't have to be you. Let's do the Knight of Pentacles. In the immediate future, the Eight of Wands, the uh, Page of Cups, the Nine of Wands. All right. Yeah, I mean, this communication keeps on popping up here because it, it appears as one of your uh, wishes, your desires. Like you want to talk. You want to talk to somebody. You want to do something. But then you just hang out and look at the ceiling, right? And then it comes back in because it's like, well, that's an energy that hasn't been explored. Hasn't been, even though it showed up strongly. So it's gonna come back in over and over again. And I feel like eventually you will get into that place of opening up in that direction. Um, I don't know why you keep on retracting. You keep on feeling comfortable in numbness almost and not doing anything. It's, I mean, it's your time, it's your, um, space and time of healing of doing things i get it um there's definitely there's definitely things you're learning from this hopefully you know you're doing it for a reason um it's just for me when i see this wheel that people are spinning and it's like okay but you know you've been here before what did you get out of it and some people need to spin multiple times before they get something, you know? Um, let's see what the universe has. The chariot, the queen of cups, the seven of swords. You're scared, you're scared. You're feeling something very intense here and you're, you're scared of it. You're feeling love and it scares the shit out of you. It's like, you're not ready to let it go. You're not let it, ready to not feel that. But at the same time, you don't really want to feel that because it's intense and it scares you. So that's your process right now. So I kind of get why you're just, you know, looking at the ceiling, I guess. <laughs> so that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time.